Good morning, folks. We've got a look at the sun and space weather, Mars, a new James Webb image, and something just so modern for Washington. Starting with our star, the northern active region released several C-class flares, but no significant CMEs. One CME did come off the incoming limb, indicating more activity in the coming days. But for now, it's modest activity only. Solar wind has been stabilizing and now begins to fall back to low ambient plasma pressure. The geomagnetic unrest of the last several days has finally waned away. Let's go to James Webb for the eye candy of Jupiter. This is near Cam's infrared view and it is absolutely stunning. Also caught a moon in there. There is a new water map of Mars, various regions of interest, and various types of hydrated material or that which suggests it can be found below. They say this will tremendously inform their future science and landing sites on the red planet. Last and certainly not least, well, isn't this just par for the course for the current administration in climate science at large? One of the top climate officials in the country has been sanctioned and barred from the National Academy of Sciences for five years over breaches of scientific integrity. Color me surprised. If you're not sure why this is so quintessentially modern Washington, I probably can't help you, but if you need to learn why this is so quintessentially modern climate science, watch the climate playlist listed below the video in the description box. While it's not the last call, time is running short to plan to come to our Observer Meetup event on Friday. It's at Rocky Top, just outside of Colorado Springs, and the link to the event is below in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.